What's up guys, Sila here with Ace Games TV and we're back on the Mr. Pandaria beta and I've come across an interesting rare elite. Now to the northeast of the terrace of Gurthan in Dread Wastes, you'll find this mob called Crawl the Blade. He's a level 90 rare elite and his mechanics aren't too bad, he has a fair amount of HP though, but he drops some really interesting loot. Now Blizzard seem to have added a lot of these rare mobs throughout all the different zones. There's a lot of them, and they all drop really cool stuff, like for example, one drops a shell which you can throw at uh, mounted players and dismount them. There's another that drops a pet, there's one that drops like a whirlwind that will um, throw you into the air. So there's some really interesting things and there's some strange things. Now this mob drops a, a strange thing, whether it's good or bad for you to decide, but yeah, it's definitely interesting. So his attacks aren't too uh, difficult to get by, he does this 180 degree cone uh, frontal attack. You, it's very obvious when he's doing it, you'll just have to move behind him to avoid it. And he'll also summon this Quillin guard, uh, it seems to kill itself over time, I'm not too sure why. So I just tend to ignore that and stay on the mob. And he is completely stunnable, I'm not too sure about other forms of CC, but I was able to stun him throughout the course of the fight. He does a lot of damage, I'm level 19, full heroic uh, dungeon gain, he's still hitting me pretty hard and it's taking me a while to be able to kill him. So people who are freshly doing 90 or below 90 are probably going to struggle with this quite a bit unless it gets like attuned and changed. But at the moment he's he's quite a pain to kill. I was able to do it uh, not too difficult, I still had like bubble and lay on hands, but in general it was, it was, it was a little bit challenging, I had to use my heals and stuff instead of damage all the time. But his mechanics are very basic to avoid, and he just does a, a basic melee attack, so there's not too much to worry about there. Now, when you kill him, you'll get an achievement for killing a rare mob in Pandaria. And then from there on, you'll get the second stage of the achievement, which will be to kill the different types of rare elites. There's like a Pandaren, there's a, a Mogu, there's the Fishman, there's different types. When you kill one of each type, you'll get the next stage of the, of the achievement. And then the final stage is going to be to kill all of them, like all the named mod, uh, mobs. And there's a lot of them, there's like 40 to 50 in total, so that's a lot of mobs to get through. Which is cool, I'd, I'd have no problem with that whatsoever. So when he dies, he'll drop a small bag of uh, goods, which all of them seem to drop. A random blue item, which all of them seem to drop. And this special item, which is unique to him, which is a elixir that gives you 300% experience gain for one hour. Now that'll probably go away if you die, but an hour of 300 XP, that that is a lot of XP to gain just from an elixir. Now the chest that drops from him is okay, it's I think 340 item level, it's got some de uh, decent itemization, so that's BOE once again, and the elixir has no level requirement first of all, so anyone can use it at level 1 or a level 85. Uh, it can be sold on the auction house, and that's going to be a massive gain for anyone looking to get world first. Someone who's looking to get world first could send like a group of friends, whatever, to camp this area, kill it, and then give it to them. And then they'll have a huge advantage over anyone else trying to get world first because you're getting 300 XP. Like that's just going to crush anyone who's trying to get world first. So this is most most likely going to be a must for anyone trying to do that. Now I'm not too sure on spawn times. As it's beta respawns every sort of hour, so on live it'll probably be an average of like 6 to 24 hours, like a normal rare. But we'll have to see for that. So let me know what you think of this rare in the comments below. And thanks for watching guys, look out for more of these videos coming soon. I am going to be covering all the rare elites that I can find. So look out for more coming soon. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.